Hi Stampers, my name is Jill Olson and I'm going to show you a fun gift card ideas. Actually a couple of them. I have some samples done up. So I was inspired by another demonstrator who sent me a card exchange and from there I kind of played with it and kind of came up with my own ideas. I'm going to start with the DSP Brightly Gleaming and it is amazing. It has copper and the peacock and the knight of navy and very vanilla and old olive and on one side it has it shows the copper on the, on the other side it's more of the plain type of um, designs. It's super simple so I'm going to bring my um, scoring and cutting tool and I just already cut a piece of 4 inch DSP. Now from there I'm going to go ahead and use the 7 and a quarter right there and I'm going to cut that and the 2 and a half inch and I'm going to cut that. Those are the only two measurements you need to know except for you're going to score two inches on this longer piece. Now remember the scoring tool is the lighter color. So there I went ahead and did that. Now I've already done all the scoring and cutting. I'm going ahead and take my four and a quarter inch by eleven and just fold it in half like that. I'm going to go ahead and burnish this and fold this over back on itself. This is one of my favorite folds but I've kind of made a gift card holder out of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this piece right here. Love the stripe. And then this piece, normally it's five and a quarter right there, but I'm going to fold it back on itself with that extra bit and that's going to be where your gift card goes. I'm going to take the one and three eighths scallop circle punch and go ahead and punch it in the center of the DSP. You can kind of eyeball it. I'm going to go ahead and put the glue dots on the corners right here and that will adhere it down so you can put your gift card in. There, so like so. And so you've got the pocket for that. Now I'm going to decorate the front. So I've just used the other side of the, this DSP and I want to create a saying. We have this wonderful ribbon that has Merry Christmas and I'm going to go ahead and use the Merry Christmas that is more blocked letter and I'm going to go ahead and just it matches perfectly for this size I'm going to go ahead and use that and just turn it over and give it a little bit more adhesive I might as well put all the adhesive on for when I adhere it to the other piece so I'm going to cut that and on this side this is a really fun ribbon and it matches perfectly for this DSP. Okay, so we've got that. Put this down in the center, or try to get it in the center. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use two of the dies from this Stitch Stars die set. There are so many dies in there, 23 but I'm just going to use the star and the swirl right here. So I'm going to take this, but before I do I want to go ahead and stamp Joy with the Knight of Navy and then punch it out with an inch and a half punch and that will be our saying that will be inside the star. Put some dimensionals on that, of course and I've already put some dimensionals on the star. Okay, what you want to do with the swirl is go ahead and cut it in half or you, you can tear it in half. It basically is not going to be seen. Put a little adhesive under the center of that swirl and I'm going to go ahead and put my star on first because then I'll know exactly where the swirl well, I'll, I'll want it to be. So go ahead and center that star on your card and then take your swirls, just tuck them under let's see if I want it there there we go 
Okay, then we'll put the joy on in the center. We're almost done. Oh, that's fun. Joy, Merry Christmas, and there's your gift card. Let me show you a few more ideas with this same layout. Here's the same DSP, kind of the same look. Just went ahead and did a circle punch with the mosaic folder. And here is this one that I did, and I used the Let It Snow paper, and it does have a gift card in there. But you can use Merry Christmas and then put another saying right in here. That's why I really like that. With the holidays coming up, I'm always looking for a cute way to give a gift card, especially to those family members that are far away. Don't forget to check out our blog, stampinjill.com, for more cute gift card ideas. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.